Hello my darlings and welcome to a brand new fashion video here on my channel. Today I'm doing something that I don't believe I have ever done before and that is a video of sharing outfits from brands I have not tried before. These slightly, to me, lesser known brands and hopefully together we might discover something new, something wonderful and something a little bit different. Before I get started on today's video, I have two really quick noticements. Firstly, I'll keep this super quick because obviously this is a fashion and lifestyle channel and not a news broadcast channel, but I couldn't film this video without mentioning this. It does feel somewhat strange doing a video all about fashion with everything that's going on in the world. It's very overwhelming. Um, and I just want to let you know that throughout this week and last week, every penny from AdSense, which is the money that I earn from the adverts that run here on this YouTube channel, is going towards charities that are helping with the Ukraine crisis appeal. Um, so just for you guys to know, if you are able to watch this video and other videos that have gone live on my channel this week without skipping the adverts, then just by watching the videos, you will also be helping to donate to those charities. So thank you guys so much for that. I am sharing updates on this over on my Instagram stories as well. And a second noticement, as you might be able to see and hear, I have got somewhat of a, a little bit of a cold at the moment. I actually feel 100% fine. I'm just a little bit um, bunged up and a little bit ill looking. So I'm sorry about that. But because of that, I think what I'm going to do is tomorrow or Sunday morning, I'm going to record a voiceover for the trying on section of this video so that you don't have to put up with my stuffy nasal voice throughout the whole of the video. So I hope you guys don't mind that. It's a little bit of a throwback. It's how I used to do my fashion videos a long, long time ago, but hopefully it'll work for today's video. So darlings, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with some really lovely spring and daytime dresses and these first few are from a brand called Nobody's Child, which is a brand that I've heard of before but I've never actually purchased from. What I was really impressed with is their use of sustainable materials, so they use conscious fabrics that have been sourced and manufactured responsibly throughout their entire range and this one is actually a dress made from... I think it's called Lensing Eco Vero fibers, which are um, made from renewable wood sources with a responsible production process, which meets very high environmental standards according to their website. Um, I love it when designs are just really beautiful, very easy to wear, feminine, the kind of dresses that I can wear on an everyday basis throughout spring and also made responsibly as well. I thought this would pair really beautifully with um, my lovely little Lillian bean bag with the raffia accessories, the belt, and the jewellery that I'm wearing is from the Astrid and Mew and Susan Kaplan collection, which is so beautiful. It's launched today, so I'll leave this link down below as well. Sorry if you can hear Dexy harumphing at me in the background. Next, another gorgeous floral dress from Nobody's Child. And again, I've used the same raffia accessories. I think these are just the perfect springtime accessories. And the shoes as well. I love these little shoes from River Island but the dress again is just the perfect material and silhouette for an everyday dress throughout spring. If I'm staying at home, it's obviously really comfortable, but also can be smartened up with some accessories if I'm leaving the house. I was really drawn to the silhouette of this dress. It's beautifully fitted on the bodice, and then the most gorgeous like natural hanging skirt and slightly voluminous sleeves. It's so stunning. The tone is this almost emerald, really rich, jewel tone, jade kind of colour, no pockets. <laughs> and I just think this silhouette is absolutely heavenly. I really hope this is a key silhouette for Nobody's Child. If they did this in some floral fabrics, I would just go wild. I would honestly buy this dress in so many colours. It's quite a thick material as well, um, which just makes it perfect for this transitional time of year. thought it looked so perfect with my bulgari bag, so I paired those together for more of an evening look. I'm definitely taking this on my trip that I'm going on later this week, so keep an eye on my Instagram to see how I'm styling it. I just thought this was such a perfect match. Now we've got another of the slightly more relaxed dresses. Again, this has got the Lensing Eco Vero um, fibres, so a nice sustainable option. And I just love this beautiful, almost like a eucalyptus sage green colour and once again with a little raffia basket bag, I think it looks so sweet. 
Can't wait for the temperatures to warm up a little bit and I'll wear things like this every day around the house. Lovely ruching detail on the bodice and on the sleeves as well. So this next one is from a brand called Misa, which is a brand based in LA, very bohemian styles, and a lot of their pieces are actually handmade in LA. I chose this one because I really love the pattern on it and I absolutely love the smocking detail around my waist. Not only does it create a really nice silhouette, but it's also so comfortable. And then you've got these really lovely design details like the slightly sheer sleeves. It's a little bit more formal and shirt-like in the structure on the top, and then really floaty with um, the little ruffles down at the bottom. Again, I've paired it with a basket bag, this time my Prada, because it's so comfortable. Again, just a perfect spring everyday dress. And these are the pieces that I do reach for as like my everyday uniform when I'm working from home or just pottering about in the garden. So I thought I would pick up a few more dresses of that style. Next is a dress from Free People. Now, of course, I'm sure so many of you guys have heard of and probably purchased from Free People before, but I actually had not bought anything from them before. Saw this one on the website and thought it looked absolutely beautiful. Again, you've got that little bit of smocking detail around the bodice, a little plunging V neckline, slightly more voluminous sleeves. And this is another dress from Free People. I actually prefer this one. I think it fits me really beautifully around the bodice with the smocking detail around the bust area. The sleeves, you can either have them up on the shoulders or you can pull them down. And then it's a really gorgeous kind of limey, creamy lime color with this beautiful floral embroidery on it, which I think is so, so pretty. And it's really comfortable. And again, the fabric is a little bit thicker, so perfect for this time of year. And then finally, for this part of the video, this incredibly dramatic dress from Mila. And I just could not resist this dress. It's so beautiful, so uh, adventurous, so over the top, beautiful rose pattern and the most incredible silhouette. No idea where I'm going to wear this, but I just couldn't resist it. So yeah, wait and see where I will be wearing this dress to. And then finally, a pair of trainers, which I picked up from Free People. They're from a brand called APL, and I just thought they were perfect. Really nice colors, really easy to slip on. Here's a little close-up, and they're super comfy. Hi, darlings. It's actually now Monday. I'm sorry this video is officially here, there, and everywhere. As you might be able to tell from my voice, I'm feeling much better, not 100%, but much better. Um, I edited most of this video and realized it was only seven minutes long, which is actually not long enough to run adverts. Videos have to be 10 minutes long before you can put any adverts on them. And seeing as I am donating my AdSense to Ukraine Appeal Charities, it seemed kind of pointless to put out a seven minute long video that I can't run any ads on. So instead of just playing you some lovely music or showing you a video clip of Dexter and Dickens for three minutes which genuinely crossed my mind um, and now thinking about it maybe you would have just liked to have seen Dexter and Dickens for three minutes maybe I'll just put some clips of them enjoying the sunshine today at the end for good measure I thought I would share with you a few pieces which I have purchased lately from H&M which I realize it just does not go with the theme of this video I'm really sorry you know my mind is just elsewhere at the moment and I feel like we're probably all like this let me know if you guys also feel the same way um, but H&M stuff obviously sells out really quickly and if I didn't put it in this video then I'm sure it would sell out by the time I get around to sharing it with you in a vlog because I am currently filming like two vlogs ahead if that makes sense so although it is obviously a brand that I've worn before and that you guys will all have heard of um, the next few outfits I'm going to share with you are my new in pieces from the H&M spring drop what I love to do as well is pop um, edits like the one you'll see on the screen here on my Instagram stories as soon as I see these new pieces coming into H&M. So do make sure you're following me on Instagram and also on LTK, which is where I post my shoppable images um, because then you'll get to see my edits super quickly even before I get a chance to show you um, here on my YouTube and that's 
your most likely way of being able to get these pieces in your size um, when they first come out because the gems that H&M tend to come out with at this time of year, they do tend to sell out very, very quickly. I did post that graphic on my stories a few days ago and I think over a thousand of you bought the dress I'm going to show you in a second. So bravo if you manage to get it hopefully a lot of these pieces will still be in stock um the ones that are i will of course leave linked down below i have managed to ramble now for three minutes so at least we know we've hit the 10 minute mark so without further ado let me quickly show you the pieces that are that have been in my h&m spring fashion order Okay, I've tried to wait until the dogs have settled down so there's not quite as much background noise in this voiceover. But starting off with this beautiful pleated pink dress, this is just a typical Josie everyday spring dress. Again, something perfect for wearing around the house and in the garden and to any little meetings that I have nearby as well. This is the dress that really sealed the deal. This is the one that made me want to click buy and complete my order very much reminds me of sleeper dresses and it's got again that smocking detail on the bodice which I'm obsessed with. I love the beautiful pattern on this, very delicate floral but you've still got that ruffle detail on the sleeves. It's just a very easy to wear style dress and I just think for the price it's fantastic. I think this was under £30 so of course I couldn't resist adding this to my basket. It is the perfect Josie everyday spring dress. Up next, I kind of imagined this as a heat wave day dress, really thinking ahead now. You can see I've got a swimsuit on underneath, which I'll show you in a little bit more detail in a second. And I love the wildflower pattern on this dress. This next outfit, obviously those are my Zimmerman shorts, but I spotted this gorgeous blouse, really lovely lightweight pink floral blouse, which you guessed it, is gonna be perfect for popping over my shoulders when I am gardening. You can actually get a little glimpse of the swimsuit here as well. The swimsuit also being from H&M, really lovely floral pattern. Um, and it's got that gorgeous ruffle detail. This is probably how I'll wear the shirt throughout the summer, just over my shoulders when I want to cover up a little bit or protect from the sun, another little close up here. It's a really nice material, this swimsuit. I definitely need to pick up a larger size though. And then finally, another dress, which I think will be perfect for summer days. It's a little bit more of a loose fitting silhouette, so I have cinched it in with the belt, but the material is super lightweight. It's literally like a silk georgette, but much more affordable completely covered in this really wild floral pattern, which I thought made it perfect for summer days, popping on over a swimsuit. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> I thought I filmed a little bit more, but darlings, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave everything linked down below. Hope you've had a great day and I'll see you on Thursday for another vlog. Bye.